There is a new and very colorful addition right outside our studios. <laughs> sure is. Check these out. Ten beautiful murals went up this week. It's the culmination of weeks of work by the winners of a contest co-sponsored by Westfield Horton Plaza and NBC7. NBC7's Artie Ojeda is here now with a few more of the artists behind these great murals. Yeah, I've been working on this for about a month now, and it has been so much fun meeting the artists, sharing their visions. The contest asked those artists to show us what you love about San Diego. Ten winners were selected, and this is how the murals came to life. This past Monday, workers were busy putting up these huge and colorful pieces of canvas. But before they got here, you are the artists, you are the winners of the mural contest. And it all started here, back on July 14th. So, are you guys excited? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, the winners of the Why I Love San Diego Art Contest include nine-year-old fourth grader Sarah Ritchie. I think it's pretty cool that, like, that our artwork will actually be up on the Broadway street. Right, it's Broadway Street. <laughs> the artwork will actually cover the temporary wall along Broadway surrounding the Horton Plaza Park expansion. The artists submitted their drawings on paper. These are the winners, and each artist had just three weeks to go from paper to these huge 6 by 12 foot pieces of canvas. 15 year old high schooler Josh Tremaine talked about his vision. We're very coastal, San Diego, and then. We also have like history and like missions and El Camino Real and stuff like that. SDSU Fine Arts major Charlene Mosley admitted to being nervous but confident and excited. I have a combination of collages of the cityscape, the hills, the Coronado Bridge. And as the work slowly came together, it was hard not to be overwhelmed. Well, in my head I thought it was going to be a lot smaller. Sarah and her group of two others had a vision of San Diego and surfboards. Like the ocean and, the, and seals. In a matter of three weeks, the artwork was finished, and today everyone showed up to see their murals on public display for the first time. Some, like Josh, happy but a bit critical. I'm pretty happy with it. It's kind of the first time I've ever painted, so it's kind of a challenge. And Charlene, who couldn't stop smiling. Uh, there are always some things that I would... If I could paint on and on and on, that I would add to it and fix up a little. So, but I like how it turned out. A job well done by all of the artists. Again, they're on display right along Broadway between Broadway Circle and Fourth Avenue, just behind us here. And uh, coming up at six, I'll give you a look at uh, all of the murals. They all did a uh, did a great job, and they're all kind of downplaying their work. But my goodness, as you can see, they did a terrific job. I can't. It seems like if you've never had experience painting that big, how do you pull that off? But they did. Yeah, and they did a great job, and it was a lot of work. And like I said, you know, they had the con. They had. A, I believe they started on July 14th, and they had to be done by August 1st. And uh, so, you know, the work that they did was done fast and done very well. Yeah. Start with a concept like this and then yeah. enlarge it. Exactly. Well, I can't wait to take and a look. And the San Diego flavor too is really is really cool. Yeah, it makes it very yeah. special. Very cool.